So, uh, Jamie, uh, thank you for uh, agreeing to give you time today. Uh, I was wondering for the uh, purposes of the research, if you could just uh, introduce yourself and, uh, and what your role is here. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm Jamie Hotwood, um, Head of Community Sports and Health Engagement for Blackburn Rovers Community Trust. And uh, for how long have you been working for the uh, Trust? For about four and a half years now. Okay. Yeah. Um, what, what, what motivated you to, uh, to take that job? Uh, well, I was working somewhere else previous for a long time, seven or eight years. It was quite a small organisation, so obviously I did a degree uh, full-time while I, while I uh, worked, so I did that two nights a week. I uh, gained my degree successfully and then started applying for other jobs. Uh, I, I was working in Wigan before. Um, now I, I live in Blackburn, I'm a Blackburn office fan, obviously, so a job advertised, which was a project officer at the time. Uh, and I've successfully applied for that and got the job and then since then I've been uh, promoted to uh, Head of Community Sports and Health Engagement. Right, okay. Uh, and what do you think um, are your biggest hopes um, for the job that you currently do? What do you think the Community Trust is capable of achieving? Yeah, well, I think the Community Trust is a very it's a vital point for the football club. Uh, obviously Blackburn's not a big place. Uh, Blackburn Rose is a, probably one of the biggest things in Blackburn. For, obviously looking at the population of the town, and the attendances we get is very good, you know, con considering the size of the town. Um, obviously, our role is to engage with members of the community using the, the brand name of the football club. But we're a registered charity, so we've got to cover all our costs. Um, so we're trying to engage with all members of the community um, and just letting people know what we do, really. So obviously we do we do a lot with school children in terms of educational days, but we also do football projects on an evening, social inclusion projects where there's maybe areas of high antisocial behaviour, we'll go in on a Friday and Saturday night and do football. Uh, we even do things for over 50s as well, like line dancing. So we try and engage with all ages of the community really, all ages and all members of the community. And what are the biggest challenges you face in, try in trying to hit these ambitions? Uh, going forward, uh, it's, it's funding really, it's just again, obviously there's, there's been a lot of massive cuts, obviously local authority have less money available to spend where they might have previously funded projects before they've now no money to, to do that uh, and we're applying for funding and obviously it's the same everywhere so that you've got more people applying for smaller pots of funding um, which obviously it's quite obvious then what, where the problems lie so it's just trying to be clever and offer something a bit different than maybe what other organisations might not be able to to provide uh, using the brand name of the football club and where we position really in terms of engaging members of the community uh, in a small town like Blackburn. And do you think the uh, community of Blackburn are aware of the community uh, trust? I think they are. I think um, we've got a lot better in terms of promoting what we do. Um, we've got our own website. Uh, we're on Facebook, Twitter. Um, we've got marketing materials now. We've got our own graphic designer, so we design all the posters in-house. I'd like to say I've got quite a lot of contacts as well from going to local meetings, um, community based meetings, more strategic meetings so a lot of people know about what we do um, and we've also got uh, an online database as well so every time someone comes to say do a soccer school or a Saturday morning coaching club uh, as long as we've got their email address they'll be sent all the information all for all upcoming events and things like that so we are getting better. Uh, we've got two, we get two pages in the match day program as well, so straight immediately that you know fans can see what we do if they get a program, and we've done stuff before which we've marketed things on the big screen as well at a match, so there's that as well, and obviously we've got a good link with the press office, so all good news stories and things they they, they get circulated to local media, really and it goes on our websites and other areas, and you, you see a lot in the Telegraph and things like that. So, but we, really we need to just continue that, and try and, and get let more people know what we do. Uh, you mentioned the internet, um, how, how important would you say the internet is to you in, in your sort of daily work? Uh, well it's massive to us obviously not just for the marketing, for, for the website and Facebook and Twitter but uh, like I mentioned, touched on before we've got a, an online database so we, we book out all the resources so if we're using a, a football pitch in the indoor centre, a member of staff, we book that member of staff out so they can't be double booked so it, it keeps a track on what resources we're using obviously helps towards costings and things like that um, and we store all personal details on there like I said before for, for marketing uh, things and obviously we keep contact details on there so we're building up a quite a large database now 
uh, and we've also got indoor leagues where that the system also generates fixtures and league tables for all our indoor leagues that run throughout the week uh, and then league tables and fixtures are updated automatically and it automatically updates our website as well so teams can log on to our website see where they are in the league see what time the game's on so it's, yeah, it's, it's massive for us do you use the internet to promote yourself um, yeah yeah we do like i said we do the email marketing and we all our flight promotional flights promoting activities and things we put online as well so people can go on and download the application for it because some of the flyers are quite they're like two or three megabytes so it, sometimes we will we'll email all, all our contacts and just send a link to our website as well and that in turn when people are logging onto our website they might see what other things we do as well because uh, a lot of people just think might just think we do football but we do everything from we, all our coaches are multi-sport coaches so we can do we do badminton we even do some for our Thursday evening so a lot of people go on line and they, they can learn about all the things we do as well so we do try and direct people to our website as well so you get different ages of people and different ages different... yeah from three we've even got we've got a football development centre now for three year olds three to five year olds and then we'll have on a third that's a, that's a tuesday evening but then on a thursday we'll have we have a tea dance so you get 70 to 80 year olds turning up so we try, we do engage with all ages of the community really and all the types of members of the community um, and we don't just deliver stuff here, we actually go off site and things because we understand some people have problems with transport, so we go into the areas and deliver things as well. Is, is there anything um, as regards to the internet that you would like to use more of? Um, uh, I think we continue to promote the stuff. Uh, obviously, we've been liaising with Blackburn College Marketing Department as well about how we can do, how we can expand really on marketing ourselves. And also, I touched upon uh, maybe text messaging as well because we, we obviously keep everyone's contact details if we can have like a text messaging service that promotes everything we do because a lot of people give us their email addresses but their personal email addresses rather than the work ones so they might not necessarily check it as much um, so if they have a text message I mean everyone keeps their mobiles on them all day every day really so it'd be good if we could text people even if it directs them to our website and look at them. for example if soccer camps will be starting in a few weeks just to promote that really would, would there be any kind of specific features that you would like out of this resource that promotes? Uh, everything that we do at the minute, so normally obviously our online booking system, data collection, uh, promotional things, uh, needs to be a full, a full package really, obviously it will depend on the cost and things like that. So. Do you have any kind of interactive um, online resources? Is, is that be something um, that you could be just, interested in? Just downloading things really, uh, we've recently added something where you can in, in insert all your contact details and ask to be added to our mailing list as well um, but we're willing really to we've got we've got links to uh, i'm trying to think now there's there's links to other websites as well that people can go on so it's we're just we're constantly developing it really our graphic designer part of her role as well is developing a website as well um, and just keep up to date with all the latest things that are out there really to try and keep one step ahead and keep promoting what we do so if, if a student involved in this research um, had an idea of a resource that could show the diversity of your work, that yeah. would be something that would be yeah, of interest? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think the more people know about us, the better, really. It could lead to other things. And then when we're applying for funding, you know, the person reading the application might already know of us and might already know of the good work that we do. Uh, so the more materials, the better, really. Because when we do apply for funding, we do include sometimes case studies on stuff that we've done before. So the more media coverage we get, the more stuff we can put in potential bids and as part of case studies to funding bodies to say this is what we did, this went on a website, uh, this was on the big screen against Manchester United or whatever, to select, you know, that's, that's funding bodies like that, they like seeing everything that we do really and that, that people know about it, to raise the awareness of their project as well as a national, national project. So. Right, okay, thank you, uh, very interesting. Um, Final question. Um, the project is uh, following um, part of a teaching philosophy known as EduPunk. Uh, so, uh, if I was to say the word punk to yourself, what what kind of things would you would you think of? Uh, I just think of a type of music, really. Sex Pistols. That's that's as much as I know really about punk. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.